I showed you the video. It was all waving around, looking all cute. A week later, we get gale force winds, and that sign is gone. That flag is gone. Told you. My name is Michelle. I'm laughing at my husband. I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much for coming by and joining me today on this Dollar Tree haul. Technically part two. Um, this is the hers section of the his and hers Dollar Tree haul this time. And uh, so much randomness. It's not even funny. Found some really cute stuff. Got some wish list items. Totally stoked about a couple of these items for sure. Yeah. Gonna start out with um, an item that we bought for my cousin to use. She was on the hunt for some black gift wrap. I didn't find straight black, but I did find this, which is totally giving me Haunted Mansion vibes for all of my Disney people true. out there. That's yeah. um, <clears throat> But she's got a present to wrap for her boyfriend. His 50th birthday is coming up on Mother's Day this year. And she wanted, like I said, all black. We could not find all black. Where's that ribbon at? I saw it. It's in the air. Go. Uh, but I sent her a picture of this and she said it's perfectly awesome. We also grabbed this fun little ribbon for her to use on it. It's technically a two pack, but I guess his package is pretty large. Wow, I did not mean to say that. And the, I know that that's not true. The box that she's getting. <laughs> the gift is large. There. So I'm sure she'll use both of those or you know whatever. What Yes, I do, actually. Well, after this is over, tell me. Okay. I don't think he watches my channel, but... He doesn't watch your channel. Uh, she got him a thing that holds his fishing poles and rotates. He said he didn't. He said he wanted one. Oh, well, he's, he's, he's got one. Oh, no. He's, he's got one. Because when... Well, because he's my brother. <laughs> he's my brother! So, yeah, well, I'm not saying that he's using it now. Okay, so maybe he got rid of it, but he, he's got one. Uh-oh. Because he had tons and tons of fishing poles. And so, cuz, maybe that's a repeat. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyway, I got what she needed. After that, it's not on me. Um, found this. Our youngest is suddenly into margaritas, and we found this Refresh Me strawberry margarita non-alcoholic drink um we'll let him decide if he wants to buy alcohol to add to it but well but, if he has to it won't be a margarita right? it'll have the margarita flavor it just won't oh, be okay. it's just a non-alcoholic margarita right now random i don't blame him who wants a non-alcoholic margarita what are we shirley uh -huh. temples hello I don't know. Did y'all catch that? Um, I found only one of these. I would have been so much happier to find three or four of them. It's called Super Coffee Positive and Energy. Because I need all of that. It's also got 10 grams of protein and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Just shoot, Michelle, to the moon. You want that <laughs> yeah. in the fridge? This, it'll have to be in the fridge. It's a caramel latte flavor. We all know that is my ultimate fave. Totally on the hunt for more of these, though. Yeah, that's going to be a fun day. <laughs> Just call me Ricochet Rabbit. Ping, ping, ping. There you go. Boom. Ricochet. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Rabbit. Rabbit. All right. Wish list item that I could not find at our store when I was hunting for them is this 12-piece silver plastic cutlery. But it has the pretty purple on it. You guys might remember in my haul where I showed the tablecloths that I bought. Um, <clears throat> found the silverware today, the cutlery. Super excited, super stoked about that. Very happy. Also found the plates and napkins that I couldn't find at our store. So now we have some pretty napkins and some plates. Got some really cute little polka dots on there. And there's polka dots on the nap. Hey, Whoa! Is this for your to... mom or is this for That's Kelly? That's for Kelly. Okay, well, you, yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, I should have. Okay. Um, polka dots on that as well. Love the colors. Love the spring vibe. Um, there's only 12 plates in here. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to kick you guys. And they're super duper thin. 
so I'm probably still going to use regular plates for the actual dinner, and that will be for dessert. Uh, hubby found the other part of what we got, Kelly, these black tablecloths in case she didn't like the wrapping paper. If she does, she can just use the tablecloths for whatever. I don't care. It's all for her. Don't mind grabbing those for her. Found this for my mom. She's been using the this like tape stuff on her knee. It's the Care Us. I need my glasses. Can what? Can can kinesiology tape. Basically, it's sports tape. It's that stuff that like you see gymnasts and stuff wearing around certain joints and. Well, I guess you said you saw the BJJ people wearing it in they their wear them, fights. Wrestlers and wear them. Wrestlers use it. Sometimes so have it on. We'll let her decide if she likes it or not. IDK. This is not for me. Uh, my mother in law loves Coca Cola. She is a, an extreme Coca Cola enthusiast and collector. Yeah, use the word extreme at least twice. Extreme, extreme. Extreme Coca Cola yeah. collector. If if I could, I would film it. But she, she won't, won't let us. And she won't let us film because she's afraid. We have begged, and she just won't do it. She's but afraid someone will see all of her stuff and then want to break into her house and steal. And it. she's not wrong, except for the fact how they're gonna know where she lives. I don't, I don't know. Because I'm gonna put her address up and tell everybody to go steal her we'll stuff. We'll flash it on the screen as big as possible. But anyway, found this little Kokomo tag. Kokomo. Coca Cola tag thought of her so we grabbed it you know she bought me just this past week this cute little guy which I thought was super sweet of her isn't he stinking adorable ah oh, love him so much he's one of the little bendables he's from the early 2000s like uh, 2003 to 2010 I think is when they had him out he has no markings on him other than where the sticker was but I thought that was super sweet of her to think of me and grab him so you know that's just the way life is right now uh, going back to the um, movie night tonight did grab a thing of these little popcorn buckets we used to have tons of these I don't know I, I, don't know. I moved, oh, his, there we go. I okay. moved his feet didn't I <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get him to stand back up and his feet were not in the right place but um, we used to have tons of these got rid of them a long, long time ago, but I decided tonight it would back be fun. Back when our front room was movie themed. Yeah, back our front, our living room used to be completely movie themed, and I had popcorn buckets everywhere, and yeah. Anyway, we're going to wash these up, and then, uh, you know, put popcorn in it. So, we have popcorn here, and a really cool popcorn maker, popcorn popper, that goes in the microwave. We really like it, actually. We mm -hmm. spent like seven bucks on it at walmart it's a little glass looks like a teapot almost and you stick the popcorn in there and stick it in the microwave and it pops your popcorn and it's no butter and no salt but i wanted salty butter so we got movie theater butter popcorn for tonight so that'll be super duper fun can't wait cannot wait cannot wait you guys saw a couple of weeks ago we hauled uh this crayola art with edge star wars the mandalorian coloring book and we could only find two we found more i was super stoked so now we can give one to each of our kiddos that we know would like well i don't know if we, i know they like mandalorian so hopefully they'll like the the book i don't care if they color in it or not that is completely up to them no skin off my nose Alrighty, for mother's day coming up i bought this not because i wanted the card because i wanted the sentiment inside I'm actually going to be dissecting this card and making a couple of Mother's Day cards, but um, I knew that I wanted sentiments for the inside, so I did that because I was going to pull it over here. So we have a birthday coming up in June, and we're going to help do a little decorating, I guess. We thought these would be super, super fun and cool. It's little stands that you put the blue. It says this. Why does it say four? Because they're taller. Four than... yard stakes? Are these supposed to be like. You put them together. Well, there's only four rings. Yeah, there's only four the rings. Sticks go together and they should be twice oh, as tall. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, if I look at the instructions on the back. Instructions. Who looks at instructions? Yeah. 
What do I look like? A man? Okay. So anyway, we grabbed... Oh, yeah. had a brain fart there for a minute. We also found this balloon arch strip. Thought this was super duper cute. So what it is is you just, it's this. It's all it is. It's this thing right here. You blow up the balloons and you pull it through the little strip thingy right there to make an arch. Or a circle. Or, or a circle or whatever. You know, whatever you can form it into. So we bought tons of balloons for that. Uh, the, the theme is chicken. So we bought, you know, yellow, red, and white. So it's kind of the overall theme to help stick with the chicken theme. And then we also bought more yellow because that's what we're going to put on here. But we're going to make these look like little chickens. I got to get some orange felt. I'm pretty sure I have some googly eyes. If not, we will get some googly eyes and make little chickens. Because I just think it would be cute to have little chickens up on those sticks going oh, like this. <laughs> we also got, just to give to this little little one, um, that little star you almost, you almost said... I did almost. Yeah. Um, we got this kids storage bag for bath toys, I'm guessing. I'm thinking. That's kind of what it looks like to, for, to me. It's a little ducker. Quack, quack, quack. But he really likes the yellow. So even though it's not chicken, it's that yellow color that he tends to like. So we grabbed that. Um, okay, wish list item from last stinking year. Last year I saw people hauling these. Our store never had them. Well, I take that back. They had them. They had one box of them. And when we got there, the one, the like one or two that was in there were destroyed. They were like not any good. So stoked to find them this year. Love these. I got two. Red and the blue. I wish they had white butterflies because the red, white, and blue theme would have been super cute for Memorial Day and 4th of July, but they did not. Dollar Tree. Just heads up for next year, dudes. Um, so, got these, and um, I'm told that you, yeah, you, you pull it apart. Okay. I should do it on camera so you guys can see. So, you pull it apart like that, and then you pull the little tag out. Ooh, that's bright. Oh my gosh. How cute. You guys can't tell because it's too bright. How cute are those, though? At oh. night, that would be kind of cool. Well, they're going outside. Well, I'm saying at night, yeah. So, hopefully the stickers come off easily. We're about to see. Hey, not too bad, actually. Okay. Okay. Well, made it most of the way. Sticker... All right, it's going to take a little work to get the rest of that off, but not too bad. There, it's, it's coming off pretty easily, actually. So, awesome. So, like I said, got two of those. We're going back to this same town next week. Um, another appointment. Another appointment. We will see. Hubby is okay. We're just trying to... We're behind on some health stuff for him, so we got to get caught up. Um... We'll see. I don't know if we'll be able to go back to that Dollar Tree or not. I would like to, but we'll see. Um, along the outdoorsy theme. So. Just a minute. So mom and I transplanted daddy's plants from his services last, or two weeks ago actually. Two weeks ago, yesterday. And mine are still alive. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I decided I need a watering can. They had some beautiful colors, you guys. Uh, they had a gorgeous, like, aquamarine green. It was gorgeous. This purple, a pink, and a yellow. All very bright. All very sunny. This is nicely sized. More than enough for what I need for out there for right now. Um, so, was very happy to get this. And, again, uh, kind of a crazy new wish list item that they actually had in stock on hand was able to get it very 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 happy about that along with the summer stuff I grabbed some pretties this one right here is actually gonna go in my blanket that I have on my blanket ladder thank you miss angel I love that thing love decorating it have really gotten into decorating the blanket ladder um, <clears throat> I had some flowers in the pockets but when you saw me do the 
Mother's Day flower arrangements. I used the flowers out of there to finish the arrangements. Plus I wanted to get new ones in there and I thought these would be really pretty. A little splash of color just to kind of brighten it up. I still might get some white ones to add to this just to... I like diversity in more than one you know, color when you're doing that kind of thing. But I grabbed these to start. I thought those would be nice. And then I also grabbed this little set which apparently is not missing. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so this is weird. I thought this little guy was off of this, and it's not. I don't, I used to have a bunch of the stuff, but I got rid of all of it. So where did this come from? What are you talking about? This, I found it in the hallway on the floor. I have no idea. For reals, <laughs> all of this stuff that I had, I got rid of when I did that big declutter last fall. Apparently not. And last winter. Where in Tarnation did he come from? Mm -hmm, just there. He wasn't there when I walked through. Alright, well. I'm not kidding. Okay. This is my life. I guess the cleansing is not done. Anyway, um, not you guys saw problems. when I did... I know. When I saw the, when I made the floor arrangements, I did that cute little patriotic sign and I said I wanted stuff to put on the top. I was trying to get the curly Q hard wire ribbon. I haven't seen any of it yet, <clears throat> but I saw these and I thought, you know what? I can do something with these at the top of that to just finish it off. So it's got a cute little red star, cute little white star. The white star's got some like debris on it. I'm going to have to clean that off. Um, but anyway, a couple of flowers. One of the flowers has glitter on it. I don't know if you can tell. it. There you go. Oh, two of the flowers have the glitter on it. This one, this one's not. He's a simple pimple. So, there a we go. Pimple. A simple pimple. Got those. <clears throat> Hubby keeps freaking out at me picking flowers. Liking flowers. Well, it's just different. And um, pink, the color pink. I've lightened up on the color pink as well. Okay. Whew. We're still not done. Can you believe that? Uh, back to the movie night. I know, I probably should have just sorted it all out, but, you know, random, had it sorted. randomness. You didn't have all the movie stuff together, did you? No, I had your stuff, my stuff, and well, other I'm yet, people's stuff. Within my stuff, I should have had it sorted more. Okay. I got some cheesy balls. Ooh, yeah, that got some cheesy balls because ball? cheese balls because i'm addicted i also grabbed nutter butters two problems i hunted i hunted i shopped while dealing with anxiety i was having a major anxiety day this morning and uh i usually end up with chocolate when i do that oh well also found i, I couldn't say no i had to get it. it was the only one i saw it is a ice cube tray. Stop it. These are going to be so cute. Look at, look, 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 look. It's going to be so cute in my iced coffee. Now I want to make iced coffee really, really bad. Really, really bad. Um, okay. Random. This is so random, you guys. I found this little packet of green eucalyptus scented bath steamers. That's, that phrase confuses me. But anyway, here they are. They had a few of these little things. Again, would be really, really cute in a Mother's Day basket if you have a mom who likes to take baths. My mom, not so much. So, would not work for my mom. But, how pretty is that packaging, by the way? Like, really? Dollar Tree be stepping up on this stuff for sure. This is not the Bolero brand. It is Body for Bath and Shower Raves. I don't recall ever seeing this brand at Dollar Tree before. If you have, please let me know. I'm not saying it's never been there. It's just I haven't seen it. <clears throat> so there's that. More rando stuff. I found this new... Yes to Grapefruit Vibrancy and Boosting Vitamin C Brightening and Refreshing Dry Shampoo Wipe. What the what? It's a what? Never heard of such a thing. Gonna try it though, because why not? 
pretty kind of cool. I can't wait. I'm going to do a video when I try it. Probably be tomorrow that I do that video. So that'll be interesting. I uh, found this little packet of stickers. I only bought one thing of stickers. Really, that's the only thing their store lacked was a diversity in stickers. Like, it's the same stickers I've seen at every other Dollar Tree. So they didn't have anything super new there. I did find this one pack that I've seen it before, but I haven't seen it in a long time. And I think it's going to go really, really cute with the cards that I want to make. So I went ahead and grabbed it. But it's got the yellow truck with the awning and the flowers. I really like this right here. And I would really love to have one for real in my real life on my patio for my flowers. So hashtag goals. Um, I love this little flower basket or box right there too. So I thought this was really, really cute. Going to be fun to use on the cards. Okay, sad story. It, it's true, but it is sad. It is a sad story. You guys know we bought a cute little welcome gnome yard sign with a little sign flag holder thingy. We put it out there. I showed you the video. It was all waving around, looking all cute. A week later, we get gale force winds, and that sign is gone. Or that flag is gone. And we went looking for it. We like not like digging through bushes or anything, but we like we looked for it. Hubby took a walk down through the what's that called? Yards, I guess, of the the apartment hood, and it was nowhere to be seen. So I grabbed two more. Um, two because I couldn't decide which one I liked better. <laughs> this first one is very flowery and pretty and springy and Mother's Day-y. So I want this one out for Mother's Day. And we have decided we're going to hole punch one side and zip tie it to the downside bar so that they don't blow away. Because even though it's only $1.25, I don't want to buy 15 of these things in one year. Kind of defeats the purpose of spending only $1.25 versus $10 at Walmart. So, with all that said, this is the first one that I found. I just thought it was super pretty. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I loved the brightness of it and this, the flowers, you know, the spring flowers. Had a very, very Mother's Day feel to it. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I like it better in person even. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that it had cute little butterflies on it. So, yeah. There's that. You just missed it, love. What I missed? A hawk just flew right at us. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> and then, the second one that I, saw, that I bought... Hubby, please don't um, alliterate on this one. Land of the Free because of the oh. Brave. <laughs> um, Hubby and I have mixed emotions about this. I like the truck. I like the red, white, and blue of it. It's going to be I'm fantastic. I said my okay. My emotions are mixed on it. Um, I I love the truck on it. I love the patriotism of it. Even though our country is in dire need of true patriotism, uh, it's still I like it. So there, there's that. All right. All Again, all that. super random, but I have a reason. Uh, the little pop socket that I bought from the Dollar Tree for my phone. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it. It serves sort of its purpose. It fell apart. Like the pretty flamingo part that's on it came off. It's not even on there anymore. It's very flimsy. Like if you try to lean, like pop sockets, you should be able to lean your phone on and it stays, you know, at an angle. Well, it doesn't. It collapses and your phone falls over and it's, you know, you can't watch it because it's falling over. So I bought this little guy. It's technically a frame easel. <laughs> you laughing at me. <laughs> it's gonna fall over. <laughs> <It's horrible. laughs> um, and it's just a little frame easel. Phone sits right here. Watch my phone. Because sometimes when I'm editing or whatnot, I'll have my phone on or I'll be rendering. And sometimes when I'm rendering, the Wi-Fi doesn't like to function as well. It's like my computer's like, it's too much. I can't today. So, when it's like that, I just use my phone instead, and it's just, yeah, needed something to prop my phone up on. So, bought that little guy. Trying to find room to sit stuff. Uh, along the patriotic stuff, 
I couldn't believe this was only $1.25. Honest to goodness, thought it would be in the $3 uh, Dollar Tree Plus. It was not. It is this beautiful sign. I, ah, uh, I just love it. And the truck is 3D. It is not flat. It is, I know, it's like really hard to get. There you can see. It's not, it's not flat. It's, where's that? There it is. So it's just, but it is, and this is thicker pressed board than what they used to use for these signs. This is definitely a bit higher quality. Now would I hang it where it's going to get wet all the time? No. And it's huge, you guys. This thing is, it's big, it's long, like my arm. Oh, I can't even get it all in there. <laughs> but we're actually going to hang it above my head up here. There's actually a nail already up there. So it can just go up there and live its happy little life hanging up for, I'm probably just going to leave it up all summer long. Not going to be like a seasonal thing. Truly love it. Love the little truck. They even, uh, there's a little bit of glitter. Not too much right there on that star. And on the America part. And on this the word stand. And it's not doing too much fallout. See? Nice, right? So kudos DT on this one. Good job. Good way to step it up. And then I also found... We're almost done, you guys. Also found this cutie patootie. Look at her braids. Hello. Can we just say how stinking cute she is? Simple. USA. Keep it in nice. Her nose is 3D. It's another piece of press board up there. Her flag is gorgeous. Her hair is glitter. There you go. Um, but, yeah. I fell in love with her the minute I saw her. I had to have her. This is actually what sparked most of the shopping. Because when I saw her, I thought, oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm not making it out of the store in a cheap in a cheap 10 thing haul. Which was which was my goal when I went in there. I thought, ah, let's set our goal at 10 things. Clearly that didn't happen. Alright, last three items. Um, I have been, and I wish I had gotten two. I only got one because I wanted to get these other two been waiting and waiting for my stores to get these back in and again I can't read the brand name because of the way they print it on these things global beauty care cucumber makeup remover towelettes love the cucumber ones they don't get them in often enough by my opinion are my favorite ones so when I see more I'm definitely gonna have to grab a couple more uh, really hope we can hit that store up next time we go over there and then we also, I also got this Reviving Facial Wipes. Now this is, this does not say makeup remover. So just note that when they don't say makeup remover, they don't do a very good job removing makeup. Just for the record. However, tip time. Add a little witch hazel to your cloth. Makeup removing on a whole new level. Just saying. But this one is grapefruit and hibiscus. I have not opened it yet to smell it. And I'm debating. Yes, I'll do it now. I'm going to do it now just because I love you guys so much. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I should have got two of these. <gasps> Baby, come and smell it. This smells so clean. Definitely smell the grapefruit. I don't smell hardly any of the hibiscus at all. Mm. What do you think? I love fresh. it. It smells fresh, fresh. right? Yeah. Okay. It smells fresh. It's fresh. Hold on, you can smell the other one with this. Oh. And then, last but not least, I got Kokomo and... Kokomo. Kokomo. You Again! What the heck, Michelle? Coconut and winter berry... Cleanse and Hydrate Facial Wipes. No, again, it does not say makeup remover. Remember the tip. Witch Hazel. All right, so here's the packaging. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there are 32 in each of these. But there's only 28 in this one. So definitely a better deal to get these. But I like the coconut makeup removers. Okay, so we're going to open this one. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. Use your muscles. Come on, Michelle. You can do it. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that really smells oh. like coconut. Yeah. Reminds me of a beach. Ah, oh. 
Nice. Okay. So that is all for this haul. Um, guys, I don't know. What can I say? I have absolutely, I should not be allowed in the Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. This Dollar Tree was nice. I really wish I had taken video of it for you guys. Because it truly, 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 truly. has improved. I know they're working on ours. But it just... This town, the people in this town are not happy with nice things. And they just refuse to keep them nice. And it's so aggravating. And I know... I know... We're not going to be here forever. And I keep telling myself... One day, I'll be shopping at a Dollar Tree in Florida, and my life will be so much better. I'm just kidding. I, I, I mean, I, I'll be in Florida, but I don't know if that's why. I'm anyway, I'm being silly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Big hugs. Much love. Bye.